Alrighty, in the last lesson we created a blog index page, actually that was two lessons ago, and then we created a blog detail page, or just a blog post page, and here it is. Uh, we got it up and running, everything is looking A-OK, -okay. we can mix and match a lot of content, but we don't have a category. Now a category sounds like it could be a pretty easy thing to implement, and there are a few different ways to do this in the land of Wagtail. So the first way is we can create tags. The problem with that is you can usually create your own tags on the fly and, well, they don't always match up. Uh, the second way is you can simply just use text denoted by a comma separated list or something like that uh, and you can split it apart and, and, and you can have like category one, comma, category two, split it apart. But we also have colors. We have different colors in here. We can see that when we go to our blog page in here. This is the actual template itself. Different colors and different text colors as well. Mm, that's interesting. So we want different categories. We, we, we want to be able to add a little extra information. We want to be able to manage them in a way that if I changed this category, it would also change this one. So I don't have to go through every page and change them one by one. Now, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is using Wagtail's snippet feature. So I'm going to open up blogmodels.py and we are going to want to create a new model and this is going to be a proper Django model. So now we're stepping outside of Wagtail for a quick second and we're just working with Django, which Wagtail is built on top of. So everything Django has, Wagtail has access to as well. So we're going to call this a blog category and it's going to inherit models.model, which, by the way, page does as well. Do, 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 abstract page, we'll see this, abstract page, uh, it is in here somewhere under the rainbow, hmm, preview, lockable, revision, mix in, let's go here, there it is, ha, -ha. underneath the hood, very deep down in the Wagtail engine is models.model. So in our blog category, we need text. We want it to have a name. Maybe we don't call it text. Maybe we call it name. And it's going to be models.charfield. And yep, that max length is going to be something or other. Super, super close. We don't need a slug though. Um, and I'm going to purposely create, I'm going to, I'm going to delete this so that we can see what happens. A uh, string, you know what? I'm going to actually delete that too. We're going to, we're going to see what this looks like in Wagtail. Uh, and then we want, we need a color. So the color is going to be models.charfield and we're going to give it choices and these choices are going to be a list of tuples. Now I just pasted that in there because wow did I make a lot of typos in that part and it was a little bit embarrassing uh, so uh, I just cut to it. And then we had some help text because we can always do that. Help text, this is going to be a background color. The default color is going to be let's say gray and the max length is going to be the max length of what is this? I could count it, but it says six right there as well. So max length is going to be six. Now, if you're wondering, Caleb, where did you get blue, green, yellow, and gray from? And how does that work? This is the value the database is going to store. This is what it's going to be presented as, which is why these ones have capital letters and these ones do not. Now, if you're wondering where I got those colors from, that is a great question. Let's go ahead and look at our post. We have this category in here. This is the original source code. In here, we have BG green and text green. Uh, in the next one, that is, oh, that's post. Actually, we want blog. This will be a better example. Uh, blog category, where are you? We got to find some text now. There we go. Green, light, text, green. All right, that's one of them. Let's take a look at another, another example here. We've got two categories here. This one has gray and yellow. When it has a gray background, the text is a dark blue. When it has a yellow background, it has a dark yellow text. All right, so we've got three options there, and this one is background blue, and when it's blue, the text is also blue. So we're starting to see some patterns in here with a couple of caveats. So just because we select, uh, what was it, gray? Yeah, it doesn't mean the text is gonna be gray. All right, so we need to figure out oh, when they select the gray background, how do you make the text the dark blue? We'll figure that out in just a little bit as well. So here's your blog category. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
make migrations, and I would love to do that, but unfortunately, I had a bit of a typo. Here we go, our favorite song of all time, ready? Make migrations. I love it because we don't have to manage our own database, it's so nice. So we have that model in there, and when we go into our Wagtail admin anywhere in here, we will see nothing has changed, it is completely uneditable. Now this might be good for certain cases where you want to have uh, data stored in your website, but not actually have it accessible. So maybe there's some sort of automation that stores data and you want to just show that data and you don't want users to have access to that. This would be a perfect example of that. Unfortunately, we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna go from wagtail.snippets.models import register snippet. And then we're gonna use this as a decorator. And this is going to register our snippets. So when we refresh our page, snippet shows up on the left and we have blog categories, spelt funny. Hmm, interesting. So let's go in here and do class meta. Verbose name plural is going to be blog categories. Instead of ys like this, it's gonna add ies because English is hilarious that way. Okay, cool, that works. Now let's go ahead and add a blog category. And this one is gonna be called Python. And it could be green. Uh-oh, this gets tricky, watch this. Uh, another one, JavaScript. And this one's gonna be blue. Uh-oh, I don't know which one's which now. And lastly, I don't know, let's do Wagtail. Because why not, we're talking about Wagtail. Yeah, let's keep it gray, why not? The problem is, which one is which here? That is difficult to tell without clicking into it. That's where this other thing came up that Copilot was suggesting. Def str, this is the string representation of this, and we are simply going to return self.name. And so the name of this is going to be the, repre the, the representation of this object. There we go, Wagtail, JavaScript, and Python. Cool, now we have one more thing we gotta do. And that thing is added to our actual page. Now this gets very interesting because in Wagtail, all right, let's go and edit a blog page um, because clicking around helps me talk better, apparently. In here, we might wanna be able to select some of those snippets. Maybe we wanna be able to select blue and green or Wagtail and Python. Well, currently we have no way to do that when we're editing our blog post and we want to limit it to whatever exists as a snippet. This way when we change, let's say Python, and uh, because Python might be referring to Python 2 and that's very outdated, maybe we want to change this to Python 3.11 and have it change across the entire website rather than in just one place. That's why we're gonna use uh, a thing called an orderable along with a snippet. So this is a snippet, allows you to reuse one data point over and over and over again and an orderable is gonna allow you to select those snippets. Uh, so an orderable is the next thing that's gonna come up. And this is an interesting one. So we're gonna call this a oop, class blog page category, Z, I guess. It doesn't really matter. This is not going to be used anyways. And we're going to use an orderable. Then we're going to have a page. The parental key is going to be the blog page. So that's going to relate this, this object, this entire object to this, uh, not this one, dude, that's wrong, to this blog page here. So that's what this is gonna do. Then we have a category, which is gonna be a foreign key. I like putting this on multiple lines. It's just a little bit easier. And the related name is gonna be uh, nothing, actually. I don't think we need a related name because we could just use the category. Um, and then, if you're really confused, please hold, and this will start to make sense in just a moment. I'm going to replace that with field panel because we're using modern Wagtail. And let's do some, some imports from wagtail.models. There we go. Import orderable. And from model cluster.fields, import parental key. So what this is gonna do is say, hey, this is connected to this page, right? Loosely connected. And then we have a foreign key, which allows us to select any one of these blog categories. And we can select them by 
adding something to our blog page. But first things first, let's go ahead and do a little cleanup here. This is getting a little bit messy. We're going to move this right there, right there. We have models comes right up there. Do, 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 do. There's a faster way to do this. Um, but apparently I like taking the hard way today. Um, and that is that. So this is going to set this up so we can have multiple categories selected on a blog page and that category can come from a snippet. Now, this is going to be a little bit confusing if this is your first time seeing this, uh, but the next thing we need to do is we need to add an inline panel. This one cannot be a field panel, it has to be an inline panel. It comes with a label called categories and this guy right here, that first value is, let's just zip some of this stuff up, is going to be related to this one right there. That related name, that's what we're using. So this piece of information actually is not on the blog page itself. It is, in a sense, connected by this parental key. We have to go and import our inline panel, inline panel. All right, let's save that. Let's open up our terminal. We got class meta and valid attributes for both log name plural. Oh, I must have typoed something real bad in there. Uh, for, it's supposed to be for both name plural. I don't know what I did exactly. Um, just quickly scanning blog category, category. Not a bad name, not a great name. We're gonna say blog category. Fix some of these typos. I must have done something interesting. Restart me, my Django server. And oh, I guess that was it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So I'm then gonna go and make more migrations. I'm going to then apply those migrations. And when I go to edit this page, this is the blog detail page or the blog post page. Uh, where are you? I put you oh, at the very top. Add categories, right? So now I can select a blog category. And let's say this one has Python and this one is also JavaScript. And we can publish that. Now this is great and all, but still, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really gonna show up. We did the back end work, but we need to do the front end work. So let's go ahead and do the front end work now. We're gonna open up our blog post, which is blog page.html. And in the categories up here, right, we have an interesting situation where we could have multiple blog categories. And also just because we selected green doesn't mean the text is necessarily gonna be green as well. We saw this before where uh, da, 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 the background was gray, but the text is actually blue dark. So we're gonna work on that in just a sec. But first, let's get the, the, the iterations working. Let's get the list working. So how this looks is for category, actually this is gonna be an orderable, this is gonna be interesting. For each orderable in page.categories.all. And let's do end four. And I just wanna make sure that this shows up twice. And Okay, I refresh, we've got two of them, that's great. When I edit the page, there were two, Python and JavaScript, okay. So what this is doing is we have an inline panel going to categories, right? This is an orderable though, right? Which means we can mix and match the order of them. The important aspect of an orderable is that we can move it up and we can move it down. That's what makes it an orderable. But we're looping through each one, so we actually have access to the category and the page. So we want to loop, for e loop through each item so loop through each orderable and get that category, which is going to then give us a name and a color. So in here, we can say orderable.category.name. And, and what did I do wrong? Orderable typo. I think my keyboard might be giving out actually. <laughs> is the excuse I'm going to go with for typing so poorly? Python and JavaScript show up. Now we have to look at these background colors. Right, those background colors come from the color here. So we're gonna say order of orderable dot category dot color. And unfortunately that's not gonna change this color in here either. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of finessing. All right, so the background color is changing, but if we look over here, you know, they're not quite the same. So what do we need to do? We gotta open up blog category, and we're gonna say, if the background color is blue, then the text color is gonna be what? So I'm gonna add a property in here, def text color. And I'm gonna say, if self.color is equal to gray, 
what did I need that to be? If background is color, uh, background color is gonna be gray, we need to return blue dark. We can keep the text because that's the same in every single one, uh, but it's just this part right here that's ever gonna change. So we'll say return blue dark. L if the self dot color is equal to yellow, I think was the other one. Yellow, it's also yellow dark, not normal yellow, but yellow dark. So return yellow dark. And I believe the other two were, please hold, green. We can change that. Text is green. Okay, so those are the, those are the same. Uh, we had one more in there. I think it was blue, right? Uh, blue and blue. So um, we can just work with that. If it's anything else, if it's blue or if it's green, return self.color. And in here, we can change this text to the orderable.category.textColor. And let's see if this changes anything. And I guess on those two, it didn't. Uh, but the idea is it would have had I selected the right ones. Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure this works by adding. Which one was gray? I think Wagtail was gray, right? Publish. There we go. Yeah, that text color changed. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now we have categories in here. So in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to pull all of that information into our blog page. And then on the home page, how do we add that in here too? So that if we ever change a little bit here, it's also going to change a little bit here. And it's also all going to be dictated by the actual blog post itself. That's what we're going to learn in the next lesson. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you over there.